What's good you guys? Welcome back to another video of Deal with the Kids and no skating today. It's an educational video today of skating. So um some of you guys who follow me on my Instagram where I did like a little poll on my story asking which topic should I cover up for today's video. So a lot of you guys were voting for the best habits for like for new skaters right here. Here's the poll. Here's the Instagram poll and here's the YouTube poll. So um, we're gonna be covering that topic today. We're covering up um, 10 best habits for new skaters. But before we go anywhere further with this video, guys, please for me, like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the noti bell so you can always be, you know, updated to whenever I'm about to like upload a video. So without further ado, let's get, let's get to this video. All right, so the first habit that um that skaters need to do new skaters and old skaters um the first habit would be loosening up your trucks gradually you know um i find skating loose trucks very very comfortable because with loose trucks i know i can like um get nice turns and like i, I know that i can just roll away perfectly whenever i'm skating an obstacle but with loose trucks comes a very very like you know comes a price when you're skating loose trucks there's a price for skating loose trucks you know you can have wheel bites or you can have like speed wobbles but i prefer skating loose trucks or like you know if you are new to skating you can either like test out test yourself out you can try skating loose trucks or, or tight trucks you know you can tighten your trucks or you can loosen up your trucks but make it a habit for you to like always like experiment on loose trucks or tight trucks so you can see what are you comfortable with so first habit would be loosening loosening up your trucks so you gotta do that second habit would be riding switch riding switch um i find it very very like important to know how to skate both sides instead of skating like your your regular side all the time so you can like try and be versatile with like your skating so um riding switch is kind of like a very very good um it's a very very good thing because like um as you're doing a line you can either like do a trick and then you're rolling fakie but if you know how to ride switch you can just push switch and do a switch trick so riding switch is also very very good so you can also like get comfortable skating boat stands you know um for news for for those who are watching my channel and don't understand what switch means switch skating means you are riding with like your weakest foot kind of like let me, let me say for example um if you kick a soccer ball with your right foot you, you gotta learn how to kick a soccer ball with your left foot so like switch is pretty much skating with like the weakest side right and switch will kind of feel like you are restarting skating all over again but i guarantee you it's very very important for you to ride switch so ride switch habit number three would be learn how to stop like i know a lot of skaters who just technically like buy a skateboard especially like new skaters when they buy a skateboard the first thing that they would think of is just going outside and like riding down without knowing how to stop so you need to learn how to stop it's very very important that you know how to stop because if you don't know how to stop you're gonna get bodied in the street and then like you're gonna you might end up like losing your confidence in skating so there are two ways in order for you to stop there's power sliding and there's like foot dragging but i prefer power sliding because foot dragging is really really like it, it's a good way of stopping but it just kills your shoe underneath you know what i mean so you don't want to like kill your shoe and with foot dragging especially like if you're like skating down a very very steep steep hill if you like take out your foot and you're going with that much speed i guarantee you you're going to fall you're going to fall so two ways of stopping power sliding and foot dragging so learn how to stop when you start when you're just starting how to, uh, on skating learn how to stop um habit number four would be learn tricks while moving i understand i understand for new skaters it's like important to like stand stationary and not like um hurt yourself while doing a trick moving but i get i kind of feel like that's just gonna slow down your process because like you don't want to be like rolling in the street and then like all of a sudden you want to stop do a trick and then like you want to move again you need to be constantly moving when doing your tricks you know um you need to learn how to like do your tricks moving so you can like get the confidence you need to know like um, when you when you're moving you can at least like get comfortable doing tricks while moving all the time you know because there might be a time when like you are going with your friends and just skating and then like there's an obstacle on the way and all of your friends already know how to do tricks while moving are you gonna like slow down and like grab your skateboard and then like go around the obstacle nah you gotta do your trick while moving fam 
So learn tricks while moving, guys. Learn that. Habit number five would be loosen up and relax. For new skaters, I see I see like um, they very very stiff whenever they get on the skateboard. You guys are like very very stiff. So um, my advice would be like loosen up. You know what I mean? Because like if your body is stiff, I guarantee you you're not gonna feel comfortable skating and you're gonna fall. Like, you're just gonna fall. So loosen up and like relax, you know, just like be relaxed when skating, you know, you don't gotta like be all stiff, you know. Um, Habit number six would be intro proper foot placements. You know, when doing tricks, you gotta know your foot positioning, your foot placement on every trick you wanna do. So for new skaters, I kind of see it very, very like hard for them to know how to set their feet whenever they're doing tricks, especially like if you're teaching them. But I'm not saying like it's their fault. They just started. But you got to ensure proper foot placement if you're going to be doing a trick and uh, or like, you know, power sliding in general, like how to stop. You got to like know how to like set your feet up so you can like, you know, ensure that you'll be OK during the session. Habit number seven would be embrace falling and learning from it. Like you guys need to learn how to fall. When skating, we, we always falling, right? But we are falling in, in ways that can like literally hurt us. So um, with skating, you are gonna fall, you are gonna get hurt, but embrace falling and don't give up from like, for, don't lose confidence from falling because a lot of people when they skate, if they fall, they kind of like lose confidence, especially like new skaters. So if you fall, don't let that stop you from trying whatever you wanna do. Keep trying it and have like a certain way of falling because like you don't want to fall in like in, in a way where you might end up breaking your hand or something so you gotta learn how to fall and like embrace the feeling of falling and then you get over that fear of falling uh habit number eight would be wearing protective gear for new skaters if you are starting to skate and you're at a skate park and you're trying to like go down some obstacles it's best you wear some protective gear because you are still a beginner you're still a freshman in skating you don't want to be going on off a ramp not having protection so it's always good to wear protection protective gear because like um you don't want to get hurt and you are trying to like you know save yourself from like that um process of like breaking a bone or or like hurting your arm you know what i mean so wear protective gear to protect yourself and then habit number nine would be i've i've said this in like almost all the videos of like me telling you guys giving you tips and stuff like that skate every single day skating has to be a habit that you can do almost every day if you have the chance to you can skate to the mall you can skate to the park you can skate anywhere you want to just make it a habit so you can get comfortable skating so just skate every day to develop your confidence and get comfortable and like you know get used to like going around with your skateboard first. But yeah, skate every day and I guarantee you, you're gonna like enjoy it and like get better. You're gonna get better with that pro with that progress. And then habit number 10 would is always support your local skate shop, guys. You gotta support your local skate shops, man. Cause like without skate shops, we would never have the things that we have now. I mean, I know most most of the skaters, most of the skaters who are probably watching this channel don't have money to go to like a skate shop and buy like a whole complete setup but whenever you get the chance to go to the local skate shop and like check whatever you need because they are obviously family too they're gonna let you know what type of setup are you looking for what boat size you like skating what's your truck size what wheel and like you know when you go to like the skate shop you can kind of ask them where can i get like good skate spots where is the where, where's the where's the next comp happening because it's always good supporting local skate shops and like the more you keep supporting local skate shops, the more they'll get like, you know, used to you and they might even give you a discount, you know. Um, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. It's not long, it's not short, but yeah, 10 minutes should be short. Um, that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope these tips will help you guys out and improve in skating. Yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Please leave a like and comment on like whatever I missed out on the habits that you guys like want to add out to your own. And yeah, have a good day and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.